Hey, Castmaster Flash here, and welcome back to Madden NFL 20. We're doing face of the franchise, and the first thing I'm going to do is update my player, because it didn't let me do it before. If it did, I didn't know how to do it. So, we're going to, oh, we'll check him out. So, he is already a level, order, uh, already an overall of 79. So not bad, not bad. Let's see where let's see where I'm at in the depth chart comparatively to Derek Carr. I apparently have the number one spot. He is an 80 over almost 79, so it'll actually be a, a fair battle. Okay. So first thing we do is change my number to nine, which is the best number ever. Is there anything else I want to change? I can change my... Oh, I can actually change it to schools that were on there. So I can make my school over. But I want a national title, so we'll leave it with Oregon. I actually have my height right. That's pretty awesome. We'll leave it at 22. Do I, can I get long hair now? No. All right, we'll go back to what it was. All right, so we got some messages. We got a message from our head coach, John Gruden. We drafted you because you, we loved your talent. We're excited to have you on the team, but we didn't. You didn't play as much college, and I also know a about you. That's what the preseason's about. You play in the first quarter of the game this week. You need to loosen up your arms, stretch your legs a little bit. Show us what you can do. So I get an extra three hundred boost. I need to get fifty yards of total offense in one quarter, which shouldn't be hard. And my college coach, Jack Ford. They're letting you start a few games. Season good for you. Is there any aspect that you can help you with? Probably my accuracy. I wasn't very accurate in the college football playoffs. All right. So he gave me, Jack Ford gave me some advice, and it's going to give me some some uh, boosts on uh, some attributes there. Now I can add, I got ability slots that are empty, so I can give myself some abilities. Looks like I haven't unlocked him. I've unlocked Bazooka, which adds my maximum throw distance by 15 yards, so I can throw even farther. I've already got a strong arm. Their abilities, what kind of abilities? Leapfrog, I'm not really a runner. Inside Deadeye, that would be useful. Increases accuracy on inside throws. Doctor bulldozer. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna stick with. Oh, and the points I had already already got me up to an eighty. All right, we'll stick with inside dead eye because that's actually pretty helpful. Got another slot here. I can do bulldozer. I can truck people. Ooh, perfect roaming. I'm not really a roamer, so. Clutch or homer? We're going clutch for the last one. Because who doesn't want to just lead their team down to a victory in the fourth quarter? If you don't want to do that, then you're not in the right game. You're not playing the right game. All right, so we got some training. So this is, I'm assuming, right, it's Jeff, practice. Here we are in practice. Mistakes this week, okay? Football's a simple game, but you keep making these silly mistakes. We're not going to win. Okay, so coach, keep, coach is telling me I'm making huh? simple mistakes. Derek Carr's like, ha, you ain't taking my starting job. Patting me on the helmet. But, no, I'm going to take it. I gotta just gotta, I gotta complete a pass. Doesn't matter who anybody who's open. That guy's open. We'll throw it to him. Complete a pass again. 
That guy's open. We'll throw it to him. Complete another pass. Oh, wide open again. Oh, nice juke move there. All right, so I already got the silver medal. Got to complete another pass here. He's open. A little behind him, but whatever. It worked out. He caught it. All right, so now this one wants me to get a first down. Co Coach is like, got to go for gold here. Oh, I don't know who was supposed to catch that, but he did. Coach here, he's he's excited. Coach is happy with what he saw. All right, so now we can just jump in to our first game. This is against the L.A. Rams. Oh yeah, we got we got Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This I'm is listening to Pat McAfee show too much, man. Sports. Tell you. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an we got Jonathan Coachman, fresh off of Monday Night Raw. Even he Raiders. hasn't been on Raw in a while. So with that, let's get out to the East probably Bay like two years. Oakland, he came back and was call. was You're announcing on on for WWE. Team. He did it for a few Thank months you, and he he wasn't doing it anymore. But I'm making my preseason debut here. Oh, the LA Rams are going down. Charles Davis Here comes the team. Where am I at? I didn't see myself. Didn't even see myself in there. Saw Derek Carr, but it didn't see me. Oh, there I am. Here comes Antonio Brown. He's excited. Mr. Big Chest himself. Our prime time. There I am. I'm ready to go. We got Doug Martin. He's our running back. There's Gruden. He's got a beer. He's got a nice, nice cold beer in his hand. Nice cold cold light. Cold light. All right, so we got the ball here. Well, he's down seven, nothing. Wow, he was wide open. Well, I got my 50 yards already. One pass, 50 yards. Antonio Brown, man, he just blew right around his the defender. There was nobody near him. Definitely not upset about that. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Man, Can we he, get he just blew fast? right around his defender. His defender did. was playing like man to man, to and like pressed him in those first first five yards. But he got around him, was just wide open. So we'll we'll, we'll kick the field goal. Now for the extra point. The extra Daniel point. That's what I meant. We'll tie this game at six, seven. It's good, and we're all tied at seven. And I'm only playing the first quarter of this game, so I don't even know if I'm going to play again. Really, one Mitchell pass, receive, touchdown. One play, 75 yards, six points. It's time. All right, the so now we're down 14-7. Our defense didn't hold them. Oh. Sure that, no one that was not a good pass. Yeah, that's so, I, so the Raiders didn't even have to give up their number four pick to trade up to get me. So they, they traded. They obviously had to trade up to get me at one. What did they trade? There we go. He's wide open. I probably could have hit. I probably could have hit uh, Antonio Brown for a long touchdown. But I really didn't want to. Oh wow, wide open again. Look at him. He's gonna go right. Try to go right through the middle. And three for four for 131 yards. 
The catch and runs are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers right, so we're going to try well running right here. See if we can get in the end zone. Oh, look at this. Nobody. They had nothing for him. Whoa. Wow. I'm impressed. This dude is, that dude is uh, jacked. So we come back and we tie it again. Now if just our defense could get a stop. Carlson now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. And our defense didn't hold anyone. It's 21-14 now. 43 seconds left first, so this will be my last drive, most likely. Going for it all. Oh, and he broke it, and he's gone. That's ridiculous. Another long touchdown. Crazy. As he breaks the tackle, and he's gone. There's nobody left. Nobody. So of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw it? What a pass. Carlson so we're going to tie it up again. That will likely be the last I play because there's only 35 seconds left in the quarter. He's got it, and we're all tied at I'm only playing for, So I had two 75-yard touchdown passes to, to uh, Antonio Brown. So I'm glad the Raiders have not cut him on this game in, in this uh, face the franchise mode because uh, he's going to be a huge weapon. And we looks like we got the win. Antonio Brown get, having a huge get day. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? Four, 420. That they outdueled us. Wow, 57-51. That's crazy. The they outdueled us offensively, but so we made it work. We got Charles the win. Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL. Derek Carr clearly got sports. sacked a few times. The Black Hole celebrates. The Raiders are winners here as we say so long from Oakland. All right, coach wants to talk about my last game. We know at least one thing about you now. You can move the ball. How do it feel out there? Do you think you'll fit in with the offense? I'm like, hell yeah. I really like this offense. Antonio Brown is phenomenal. Makes things way easier. All right, the whole team gets an XP boost. That's huge. Big preseason win. Not like it actually matters, but I definitely completed those goals. All right, we'll jump to the next week. All right, week two. You ready for week two? We'll be playing the entire first half of the game. We want to do a build on what we did last week. So game day goals will finish with a passer rating of 95 plus of, of higher than 95. So we'll go ahead and do the do the practice for the week. Let's go, let's go. On the hop, fellas, on the hop. Who wants it? Let's see some hustle out there today. Got a big game this week. Come on. All right, coach isn't isn't dogging me this week, so should have a good practice. No, oh, he was open. Nobody was open there for a minute. Yeah, he's open. There we go. All right, got to complete a pass again. I think it's four complete passes, then get a first down. Like that, boom, wide open. That's a touchdown. He was gone. They weren't getting him.
Yo. All right, now let's probably get a first down, right? Yep. Coach is saying it's for gold. Jonathan Coachman. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a first down. Coach is happy with that practice. You finally getting it. You starting to turn a corner, and that's what we like to see as a coaching staff. Show us some. All right. Got our next game against the Arizona Cardinals. Week two of the preseason. I'm playing the whole first half of this one. It's the coach. This is preseason football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals, they shouldn't. We'll they, they had to have traded with us so for the first overall pick. Coming up on Sunday, but for now, it's Thursday night football, and on the call as had to have traded with us because they had the first overall pick. They selected Ky Kyler Murray. But then they the traded it, the and Oakland took me. Arizona could have had me. They didn't. Do, they didn't do it. So now so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat them. I'm gonna bury them for it. From their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the Oakland Raiders. Brandon God and Charles Davis happy to be back alongside. There I am. What, yeah, I actually see myself in the pre pregame uh, warm up thing here. Trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, Terrell Suggs, a legend. I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows at the end. Oh, Thursday night prime time again, huh? Coaches in preseason after a loss, jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson: wins and losses count, no matter what time of year it is. Doug Martin, he is our running back. Everyone's all over him. to the 28-yard line. All right. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. And hey, they even announced my height, huh? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receivers will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. They'll come out throwing here. Anybody open? That guy is. All right. Big start. I have to have what, a quarterback rating above 95. That shouldn't be an issue. The first carry now for Doug Martin. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing. Oh, we lost two yards on that one. That's no good. Oh, oh, and he beat him. He missed on the tackle after the catch, and he was gone. Ugh. Missed it. He went for the pick, and he missed it, and there was nobody back there to back him up. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles. You're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. Terrell Williams. There we go. With, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. My game day goal is 75 yards. Again, I got 74 already. And that makes the score 7-0. Seven 72 yards. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with an Oakland touchdown. All right, still 7 nothing. Nobody's open. Come on, get open. That guy's open. Antonio Brown with the touchdown. Mr. Big Chest himself. Antonio Brown, 35 yards. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. It's one play. That's all we need. Underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You can see that throughout. Field position thanks to the oh, interception. We got another pick, so another easy touchdown here in the first quarter, hopefully. 
we think. Who's open? He is. Antonio Brown's down at the one. Damn. All right, one yard. We might just run it in here. Give, a, give our running back a chance. He runs in for the touchdown. Give us that short field. We're going to score. We're going to put on put some points. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race them. Make the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. They start the drive with Martin. Oh, I didn't see that guy until it was too late. I could have turned it up earlier and got away from him, but. On your screen now, here are the offensive starters. We got Richie Incognito. Antonio Brown. Yeah, that guy's a monster as an old lineman, but questionable human being from what I hear. Oh, wide open. Well, not exactly wide open, but he made the, I let him enough. So it's 21 to 3 after one quarter. But when you turn it over deep in your own zone twice, that's how, that's how that goes. I mean, I've already got my offense goal, so let's get let's get our running back some touches. Give the tackle to us. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. It just ran into my own blocker, and then I couldn't get off of him. But got the first down. Now in his second season in Oakland, 723 yards last year. His career oh, he's wide so open. Look at that. And he's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Oakland. Luke Wilson, 35 yards. 27 to 3. Remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure the ball will be at the 25-yard line. Get, receivers getting open. I'm hitting them. That's what I'm doing. We got the ball again. It's 28-10, so we gave him a touchdown. Oh, that was almost picked. They didn't juke very good there, though. The right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's oh, a true fullback, a tight huge end, run. Fullback, huge run. Oh, the oh man. Get him the football in the Look at that. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. The air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another All right. Let's that run. See who's open. He is. I should have gone to the other guy that was just lagging behind him a little bit. He he would have, he had more of a chance to get, gain some yards after the catch. Only got three yards on that play. Oh, that should have been picked. I got lucky there. I put that right in the defender's hands. He dropped it. That's why you play defensive back and not wide receiver. You can't hang on to the ball. Prime example right there. Oh. I don't know how he caught that, but I'll take it. Antonio Brown with a touchdown. Oh, I mean, the catch was fine. He just broke a tackle, but it looked weird. <laughs> kind of did a little stutter step crossing the goal line. And we got the ball back again in minute 32. Oh my god, I was just going to try and run out the clock, but maybe not. 35-10. This has been absolute domination. We're going to run it again. I just ran right into my own blockers again, damn it. It didn't work. We're just going to run out the clock. Oh, guess not. We're going to throw it. Oh! He'll find his running back here, Richard. A first down there. I thought they got picked for a second. They had a they had a battle, but he ripped it out of the defender's hands. Here the first half. Boy, a 
tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And you know, you always Another first down. Up and feel like you can always bounce back. Figure out what defense. All right, we'll give our we'll give our uh, kicker. You're a kicker a chance to kick a field goal here, get some points. This 54-yard attempt. His kick is up, and it is good. What a bomb, 54 yards. Looking like Matt Prater there. Matt Prater, you kicked my field goals automatic. But we got another win. We're 2-0 in the preseason. Cliff Kingsbury looks dejected because we absolutely destroyed him. I mean, what a game to put up is our first string points. offense stoppable? Continue I don't know. I really don't know if it is. Yeah, I got two receivers that catch everything. I got a good running back. I got, we scored 434 passing yards. Dear God, 55-16 final. Three turnovers, that's what, that's really killed them because I think we put 21 points up with those three turnovers. The NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night. But you take From off the, the 21 man. points, we still win like 34 to 10. So 34, whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Not like it matters. We won. Coach says, nice game, Matt. Offense looked good out there. Which unit played the best, your opinion? My receivers, because they caught everything. But my blockers, they, you know what? That's true. They gave me a ton of time to throw that ball. I had a lot of time. There was a lot of time I'm just sitting Nobody's open. And then I had like. Five to seven seconds to throw the to find somebody to get open and throw it to him. So that's huge. We got an upgrade point because we played so well. So what do we want to upgrade? We can upgrade anything. I'm up to an 80 overall. I'm gonna. Let's see what ratings do we want to I'm kind of low on throwing on the run but I'm not a scrambler so I'm more of a pocket passer so we're I could increase my scrambler just because that's my lowest stat or I could just increase my bread and butter which is my strong arm which we're going to do strong arm has been upgraded we upgrade to an 81 overall now so now we're really now we are the best quarterback on the team Nice job last week. I hope you're ready to train, take the training wheels off. We're going to full three, quarter, oh, three quarters to build last week. We'll be using the game film to identify the best 53 players. They want me to score one touchdown and throw fewer than two picks. Okay, I think I can handle that. I don't want to throw any picks. But we'll start the the weekly Bring training. Up, fellas. I need to see that workman attitude today. We got to get better today. What I want to know is who's ready to get better. I'm ready to work today. You ready to work? You ready to work? All right, then let's coach see. Is, let's coach wants me to work. Quick. Coach is ready. All right, coach. He's wide open. That's that's an easy reception. All I got to do is get the receptions first one. So I think that's the say complete a pass and then first down. So He's wide open. We'll throw it to him. I'll just keep throwing to whoever's open. I don't really care. It, it, it gives you a recommended option to pass to, but if they're not open, we're not throwing to him. Like that guy, wide open again. Might not pass to that guy for when I have to get the first down, but... Yeah, he's open. Look at that. There we go. Tony O'Brown, Mr. Big Chest. All right. Got to complete a pass. Oh, no, it's not even first down this time. It was just complete a pass. Hey, man, listen, great job today. It was a step in the right direction for you and this team. And as long as you keep moving in the right direction, we're going to be just fine. Coach is happy with how I played in practice. He's saying, yeah, I think you're the starter. You're the guy. You're our go-to guy. All right, so let's play the game. We got the Packers coming into Oakland. It's the coach. This is preseason football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Oakland Raiders. All right, Raiders at home. At as we preview some of the action. We're running out of games in Oakland. So like, now, from what I keep hearing from this football. game is we're moving to Vegas. Call, we are always, moving to Vegas at Brandon the end of this season. And Charles Davis. 
Thank you, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. We're going to be the Vegas Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders. Leave Vega Raiders. I don't know. to be believed. This crowd in silver and black, they are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Green Bay Packers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you, and now we sit CD at week three of the preseason, and this is the one that we're the ready. coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly Derek Carr getting the special entrance, even though he's the backup now. You might even game plan Derek Carr, I'm the guy. Do with a normal preseason game, and then you've got to decide: do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins? I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. All right, so we got the ball first. I see that play. I don't like that play. That's not a good play. We're going to go. I'm running out of time on the play clock here. What do I want to do here? All right. And complete. First down. 25 yards that time. The Raiders in March came up the coast from L.A. where he caught 41 balls last All right. year with the Chargers. His best year was 2016 when the Chargers were still Another in open guy. Over 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns, and the Raiders really have high. They're at a Raider first. Another first down. Keep moving up. Uh, you know, you give me the short passes, I'll take them all day. First down. Now back to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Yeah, he'll go out of another, bounds. Another one. Antonio Brown coming big, coming up big. Another nice first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get a touchdown here. I should have gone to the other guy that was standing across from him. He would have. He had a little bit more of room to run after the catch. Oh, wide open, wide open for a touchdown. You know, these these Madden games, the defenses tend to forget about the tight end a lot. And you can exploit it. And they did right there. Completely forgot about the tight end. And uh yeah, he's open. Touchdown. Walking into the stadium, we saw Six nothing. Alright, so we gave him a touchdown, but we got the first down on the first 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 uh play of this drive. Thirteen yard rush. Here you go. Were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can oh, I, I ran into my, my lineman. Read his keys properly. And this one down. Second and six. Who's open? Anybody? Square was open, but Circle made the catch. Big, big catch there. We can move the ball at will. At the 36. That didn't work. Sometimes they don't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work and you, you do something else. There you go, Antonio Brown. All right, so 7-7 seven, seven after one. We, we're, we're threatening here again, though. Because Antonio Brown, Mr. Big Jess, with the catch for the touchdown. He just he just needs like a half a step and he's gonna he's gonna make the play. So, oh, we gave him another touchdown. So now it's 14-14. He's wide to flip open. Yeah, that's, I could not. I couldn't. I, again, just completely forgetting about the tight end. Like he couldn't have been any more open. And there was nobody near him for him to even stop him once he got the ball. And he's eight, a 75 yard touchdown pass. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So, whatever the final number is, a well deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. And as this offense gets set to take over. There you go, another big run. We only gave a field goal that time, so we still got the lead. Another big run right up the middle. Open, big, open up big holes for him. 
Oh. Yeah, it gets to the two minute warning. Hopefully we can try to score here before uh, big catch. Oh, and he, he gets around one tackle. 11 for 11. 224, three touchdowns. There we go. Another catch there. Trying to score another touchdown here before halftime. Oh, he's wide open. Mr. Big Chest. Oh, just short of the end zone. Down to the two. Now, do I run it here or do I pass? I'm going to pass. We're going to try passing. You know, I'm just going to run it in myself. I'll just run that in myself. Why not? That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career, but he's got youth on his side. I mean, I'm not. I'm a pocket passer. I'm not a scrambler. But when, it, when there's a big hole open there in the middle, I'll take it. We got the ball back before halftime. Can we beat him? This is. Oh my God. <laughs> Antonio Brown. Why? Why doesn't this guy have a job? I know he's crazy, but why not? All right, we'll try and score a touchdown here. If we don't, I'm going to call it. If we don't get it. Oh, he dropped it. I had a guy open over the middle, too, I should have gone with. But we'll, we'll give my field goal kicker another field goal here. All right, 31-17. 31-17 and a half. We'll take it. They'll throw. They just gave, we gave him a touchdown, but we're going to score another touchdown here. Oh, they ran him down at the one. Oh, no. I've thrown for 400 yards in this game. Ridiculous. Oh, I tried to run it, and it didn't work. All right, we're in that time. Another touchdown. This game's getting out of hand. 37-24. They were able to push him backwards on first down, but this time he forces his way in. I wonder if he went back to the huddle and said, guys. All right, let's see. And he's gone again. Look at that big run. Oh, he was, if he got around him, he was gone. He was run, taking it all the way to the house. We'll probably get one more play before we get pulled from the game. Yep, one last play here. Let's make it count. Antonio Brown going deep. All the way down to the 15. I went 16 for 17, 440 yards. So obviously we hung on to win that game because even Derek Carr couldn't blow that. Derek Carr, he, I, I hope he... Uh, I hope he uh, was able to finish off that drive I started at the end of the third quarter. 48-31, so the results are inconclusive. But he did he had to have scored some touchdowns because I think they got 10 points. So hopefully he was able to finish it off with 453 yards in the air. Charles Davis and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Black Hole celebrates the rain. All right, so we got a message from our coach here after the big win in week three of the preseason. Pretty good game this week, man. I love the touchdowns, but you know what I love? A big zero in the interceptions column. That's right, no picks. You want a preseason game, you're going to take it pretty easy. Probably play the first quarter. Ooh, getting boost to my accuracy stats because I didn't throw any picks. Throw under pressure. Hell yeah. All right. What's it? Oh, I got. I can upgrade my guy. Got an upgrade. I'm up to an 82 overall with some of these boosts. So let's see. What do we want to upgrade? I can upgrade the strong arm again. Great field general. Uh, let's see. We'll upgrade field general. We're up to an 83 overall now from the 79 we started at. So that's cool. 
We're we're starting to look like a bona fide NFL starter here. All right, let's go finish out the preseason in Seattle. I'm only I believe I'm only playing the first quarter, so you see, I always loved your potential. That's why I draft you. I always suspect you had the talent to compete at this level, and I was right for you for the last three games. You have us the best chance to win this year. People thought I was crazy for drafting you the first round. The next 17 weeks, will, 17 weeks will either prove them right or wrong. So a Lombardi trophy. I mean, we got to take it one game at a time. I'm a rookie. We got to take it one game at a time. And he's, he says, you're right. Legacies are built one game at a time. See, I know I'm right. I'm the man. I am the cast master Flash, and I'm going to lead this Oakland Raiders team to a Super Bowl in its last game of the season. And they want me to finish the game with no sacks, interceptions, or fumbles. The sacks is going to be tough because every once in a while someone does. Like, that's one play. There could be a breakdown, and I get sacked. But we'll do the practice. This week, okay? The coaching staff has gone in. We've simplified the game plan. Let's go out here and execute. Hey, we got to execute to win. Apparently, he's simply the game plan. They're not happy with us. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the, the second string we play most of this game. But he's wide open over the middle. Again, you know, got just got to complete the pass. So who's wide open? I'll probably throw the same the same pass to the same guy every time because he just continues to be wide open over the middle. You see the hole, exploit it. Middle linebacker, wow. He is playing terrible man-to-man -man coverage there. He's going like, oh, yeah, here he is. And then, oh, nope, nope, he's over there. That, our, that middle linebacker not playing good coverage. Again, he just gets burned. I don't even know if it's man-to-man. -man. It's got to be because he's chasing him. Seriously, I just threw three, five straight passes to the running back over the middle because no, there wasn't anyone near him. Today was a great practice. The coaching staff, we can't ask for much more. You guys consistently do that. We're gonna win a lot of ball games. All right, well, let's go finish off the perfect preseason, and to not have a regular season like the Detroit Lions in 2008. Um, we'll get this started. We're gonna go. We're gonna go out and win. This is preseason football. Preseason week on four. EA Sports. Taking on the Seattle next, Seahawks. We've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Seattle Seahawks. And the coach wants to get into it when I'll he says Oakland Raiders. Like I like he's done it, he's like Oakland Raiders. But then but like now, he fights himself. You hear he wants to do it and he fights it off. He's like, no, I'm not gonna do it this time. Can't do it every time. Coach, it is a sound like no other. When they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle, we just... Seattle is loud. They have a loud stadium. A loud group of fans. Seattle's got some good fans. You can't, can't deny that. As the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Brandon Gordon, as always by my side is Charles Davis. So the final tune-up for the regular season and probably not going to really see much starter this action. Is, I think I'm playing the one. first quarter. You're right. Not much in the way of starters, key veterans, key backups. But the All right, so we're already down 3 nothing. He's wide open over the middle. Another, another huge game, first down. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It'll go as a gain of 20. All right. From the midfield strike, oh, wide open. Antonio Brown, Mr. Big Chest with another touchdown. A couple Oakland fans in the crowd. They're excited. So it was a bomb down the field. I saw he was, there was nobody clo close to him. He was going to make the play. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's... All right. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. There it is, another catch. We gave up another field goal, so it's 7-6, but we still got the lead. Thanks to our kicker making that extra point. Wide open. 
How do you keep leaving Antonio Brown that open? I'm going to hit him every time. You leave him open. Oh, oh, he's gone. That's another touchdown. What a run. Man, do we have – is our first string offense stoppable? I don't know if it is. We're, we're, we're good. Look at this. He just runs right through the line. Huge holes opened up, and then he's just gone. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked. Well – a great come from behind victory in this one, Charles. Well, we lost because uh, our uh, Geno Smith tore up our second stringers. Good for Geno Smith. Because we've been in games before. We've done games where you just look at one team and realize they have no chance of making it back. Good for Geno Smith. We give up 14 fourth quarter points. So our defense just kind of fell apart in the fourth quarter. And we lose by two. It happens. Um, had I been in the game the whole game, we would have won, I think, considering we had a 14-6 lead when I left. It is what it is. It's preseason. It doesn't matter. really doesn't matter. I, I've secured the starting job for my rookie season, so that's huge. Derek Carr didn't play bad, but he didn't play Geno Smith-like. But we're going to advance... Well, actually, we got a message from our number one fan, cancer patient, Emily Atwood. She's excited here. I'm starting, but actually it creates a big problem, and she needs my help. More of my help. Okay, but you know what? How'd she get my number? Well, I think I gave her my number, but yeah, uh, yeah. what's up? Ever since you won the national championship game, I've been bragging to the kids about how I'm friends with you. And I may have exaggerated your tan a little bit when I told them you were the next Tom Brady. And they're like, Jesus Christ, can you anything you can do to help? Apparently I'm the next Tom Brady. Good. I'll be the next Tom Brady. I'll be the GOAT. Let me know what I can do. I'm gonna go just go win games. That's what I do. Great work out there. You've played a pretty green clean game, no sex, decent decision making. I don't have a lot to say. It's time to get ready for your NFL debut. Hell yeah. We're going to go win. We're going to go, oh yeah, 6,000 XP for completing the preseason, plus five for team morale because we had a good preseason. Our first string just absolutely killed it. We get to the, we're going to go advance to the next, to the next week, the first week against the Broncos, but I'm going to cut it here. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.